So here we have an angry mob stomping on one guy, which I'm pretty sure is the exact opposite of tough. This is the Proud Boys, MAGA. Oh, here comes the cops doing nothing. Check this out. Yeah, but like, it's the left that's violent, right? All you fucking MAGA idiots that love to comment on my fucking Facebook posts with your stupid little witticisms where you think you're so fucking smart. This is what you defend. This is what you defend. Fucking 10 people beating up one person and the cops doing nothing. Not even drawing his weapon. This is going to be more to come. Here we have some more fucking violence in the street. And like, I was here. I was at this fucking rally. And like, there was cops all over the fucking place on their little scooters. They're fucking harassing ladies holding signs. Like literally, like while these fucking guys run amok. And like, I know this is cool, right? They're owning the libs, like you fucking idiots. Like you're cheering for fucking Kavanaugh. I like beer with your fucking stupid memes. But like, you're all fucking union workers and you basically fucking are cheering for a guy that's historically gone against unions and workers. And that's how fucking dumb you MAGA people are. Like, and, and you look at, like, you look, just look at these fucking idiots in the street beating up people and the fucking cops don't do anything. Like, the cops can't run up and draw their weapons and be like, everybody up against a wall. And they're just walking around the street aimlessly bragging, posting these videos and then beating kids up online, bragging about it. And nothing happens. Like, forget about it. Like, and when I was walking around filming the fucking, my footage... The cops was like staring at you like you're a piece of shit if you're on like the protest side with their fucking zip ties fucking on their belt. But they won't go after fucking people like this on their little fucking scooters blocking fucking the protesters from fucking getting anywhere near this fucking shit. But then, you know, a block away, they ambush people. Twenty. This is more than 10. This is like fucking 30 kids. And like their fucking tough guy image appeals to like weak-minded people and basically that's all of MAGA weak-minded people Because just like look at this like how could you defend this behavior? You know, but the left is violent, right? Like a bunch of ladies holding picket signs and like teenage kids that like actually like paid attention in school and Took AP classes and are in college and learning things, you know, you talk about like colleges being like indoctrination fucking schools or whatever the fuck yeah anything to fucking make up for the fact that you were too dumb to fucking go to school right and i know there's gonna be like one or two fucking college educated maga jerks they're gonna fucking comment but yeah we understand you're just in it for the fucking tax cuts you fucking idiots we don't need your fucking commentary either Unbelievable. All tax dollars that work fucking preventing ladies with picket signs from yelling slogans while like these guys like run around beating up people in the street. Like not for nothing, one of these dudes could have beat up one of those kids that they were fucking jumping. But like 10, 15, 20 of them, like one day you're fucking beating that kid up. You need all your friends like to fucking, that's a message. That's sending a message. And like that's why you're a fucking complete idiot. If you vote for Republicans in November, I'm sorry. You could fucking unfriend me. You could fucking harass me if you see me in public. I don't give a fuck. You're on the wrong side of history. And these guys are a bunch of fucking jerk offs. Straight up. And if you fucking align yourself with this or you fucking sympathize with this, you're a fucking jerk off too. And I don't even want to associate with you. Like, straight up. Yeah, so like, as you can see, this is the beginning of the night. Cops all in front of the Republican club that was hosting the event. Protesters on this side.
Yeah, the violent left. Look at how violent the left is. That's all your tax dollars at work so these fucking cops could stand around and bully fucking people exercising their constitutional right to assemble. You MAGA people love the fucking Second Amendment. And you think shutting down hate speech is a violation of the First Amendment. <laughs> but you get mad at this. Fucking single issue voters. So yeah, you know, there's the violent left holding up a sign, holding up a banner, chanting mean slogans. So violent. Like, why is this event, like, why is this, like, place even hosting these fucking people? That's the fucking problem. Like, why are they even accepting their business? That's a rhetorical question, obviously. <laughs> you know, but this is the violent left that, you know, Trump and all his fucking balking seal fucking followers say over and over again. Yelling at a senator and holding up a banner. That's so violent. The camera fucking turned. See now, as the people were leaving the event, the cops are escorting them down the block. That's what's going on over here. Walking around with their hands in their pockets. Oh, I'm retiring soon. Everyday folks going to listen to a fucking neo-fascist piece of shit who's a self-proclaimed chauvinist. Up against the wall! All these, look at these people. Up the wall! Those are the people that sit next to you on the subway. Those are the people that sit across from you in the fucking cubicle at the office. These are teachers. These are nurses, doctors. Lawyers, this is, this is 83rd, 82nd Street, Park Avenue, this is money over here, this isn't, you know, a bunch of fucking schmucks in a fucking American Legion with fucking rebel flag patches, this is fucking people with money endorsing this thug behavior. In liberal New York. See, now, as the protesters would try to follow these people, you'd get circled by the cops. And it was like, you were completely shut off, whether you went left or right. There was just like no way whatsoever. Pricks over here, briefcase boy, flannel shirt boy, giving the finger, videotaping back. There was plain clothes cops too. Keep an eye out for them. Plain clothes cops walking around asking questions. Trying to blend in. Keeping tabs on who's who. Go hand in hand! 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 Go hand
And this went on for about good 10, 15 minutes, I guess. But the cops, were, you know, they knew exactly, well, I would hope they knew exactly what they were doing. But every time, like, groups of the protesters would try to break off left or right, they were on you. I was walking up and down the block, and it just seemed like they were following me, and it was just like, I'm walking around minding my business. I'm not opening my mouth. I'm not running my mouth. I'm not, I'm just saying excuse me when I walk by people. I'm just videotaping. I, at one point, I had crossed the street, and then when I was coming back, I seen like all the scooter cops like moving to like make a circle around me. I'm like, am I getting circled right now? Like, I just couldn't believe it. It was just so absurd. It's like you have this fucking like criminal element inside this building that you have like this massive security force to protect. And what good did it do? Like, look at all the beatings that went on after all this. Here come the scooter boys. That guy right there with the blue shirt, he actually worked in one of the stores along the way and he came out and he's deaf. And he was like trying to communicate with people to see what was going on. Cause the people in the neighborhood, the people that worked in the stores, they were like, what the hell is this? Um, now I know a little bit of American sign language. It's like, I know the alphabet. So I was like trying to communicate with him and I made a friend that day. And he was definitely a righteous dude. You know, he like actually signed for me to be careful and he told me not to fight. <laughs> he told me not to fight with these people and just be careful, which was really cool. That definitely made my night. I haven't had to use sign language in, oh my God, over a decade, easily, more than a decade. But you know, it's like riding a bike, you don't forget. I was just a little rusty. See, look, this is the violent left. But the cops were ordered not to go far from their scooters, to stay with their scooters. I think they're just trying to distract us. At one point, they just basically used them as a blockade. Can they can go this way so they can let them go out the other way? So yeah, you know, I really got not much more to say. You know, I mean, the video pretty much speaks for itself. So I'm gonna let you guys enjoy the rest of this video without me talking and maybe I'll throw on some music.
food. Great quality, Antifa. Great shopping skills. <laughs> Conservative in New York, we're having a good time. We, we're all right, man. No cuts, no bruises. Just Antifa loses. Everybody enjoy your rest of your night. Take it easy. That's right.